So what we know is this. Anytime someone has no peace and they have no rest, there's not the abundance of life in their souls, that doesn't mean necessarily that they're lost, so to speak, or that they're not saved. It's just that they're not being saved in that moment from the trial. And the reason they're going through the discipline of no grace is because they're unbelieving. And they haven't been drawing near and holding fast. And that's a huge truth to understand, guys, because that'll happen to you maybe on a daily basis with people around you. If your wife all of a sudden is troubled and agitated, what do you know? Unbelief. If your children are angry and upset at you, what do you know? Unbelief. They're not drawing near and holding fast to the truth that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and it all belongs to Him and He sits at the right hand. They're responding to the situation instead of faithfully preserving, or faith preserving their souls as they are anchored in Jesus Christ and living on the other side of the veil in Him. That can happen to any of us. So we, our judgment needs to be very gracious, doesn't it? Because that will happen to us. We have drifted. Our wives have drifted. Our children have drifted at one time or another. It's just life. It's what we all deal with. That's why it's here. So we need to understand that God will discipline us by not giving us grace and mercy. And that's His promise. I mean, He's promised us. It's a very precious promise. See, not only do we have a very potent or very powerful provision in a potent gospel, and do we not, not only do we have a prevailing problem, but we have a very precious promise, and that's grace and mercy. He has promised to give us grace and mercy. We read it in uh, chapter 4, verses 14 through 16, that if we will draw near and hold fast our confession, He will give us grace and He will give us mercy in time of need. That's an incredible promise, and that's true for us every single day, all the time. That's what it means to live in Christ. We draw near, we hold fast. We just respond to everything. Draw near, hold fast. If you go away from this weekend with nothing else, go away with these four words. Draw near, hold fast. Do it the rest of your days. That's what it is to be raised up with Christ. It's to draw near to Him on the other side of the veil. It is to hold fast to what you know is true on the other side of the veil. Life in Jesus Christ.